on the list of Australia's most deadly venomous creatures is the harmless-looking box jellyfish. Each tentacle is armed with millions of minute spring-loaded stinging capsules. They inject venom into blood vessels just beneath the skin, where it travels rapidly through the bloodstream and eventually to the heart. And unfortunately, it inhabits inshore waters, the kind frequented by swimmers. Jamie Seymour has been on the wrong end of the box jelly's tentacles more than once. And I've got to tell you, I mean, it hurts. It's, it's almost a surreal pain, but it reaches its peak level almost instantaneously and stays at that level for about 10 to 15, maybe 20 minutes, and then it just shuts off. To protect swimmers from the box jellyfish, special nets at the most popular beaches keep them well apart. You see these stinger nets all over the place, and they do a wonderful job. We've never had a fatality or a near fatality sting inside the nets. You swim outside the net, it's not a matter of, of, of if you get stung, it's when you get stung, and it, it's really playing with your life. But the nets, which do a good job of keeping the deadly box jellyfish out, are no barrier against another member of the jellyfish family, one of the smallest killers in the ocean. Along coastlines and reefs from Australia to Southeast Asia is the minuscule Irukandji jellyfish. We started getting jellyfish stings of some sort from inside nets. They weren't big box jellyfish stings. They were distinctly different. They were showing distinctly different symptoms. Often no larger than a pea, no normal stinger mesh can keep out the tiny Irukandji jellyfish. As I've duck dived down, I've got stung across the top of the lip. But unlike the box jellyfish, the venom of the Irukandji lingers in the victim's tissues. It's this that gives the sting a delayed reaction. Seymour suspects that it's only when the toxins reach the body's lymph glands that the painful effects kick in. I had severe stomach cramps. Pins and needles through the lower joints and the legs like you would not believe. And we're now getting large quantities of painkillers and, and it was just hell on earth. As research continues into the medicinal potential of venom, in the natural world it's still a formidable weapon. And in the ocean, the deadliest of all venomous creatures is the box jellyfish. It inhabits waters surrounding many popular beaches where stinger nets are deployed to keep bathers safe. It is not an aggressive creature and won't deliberately attack a human being, but nor is it likely to get out of the way. When fully grown, it has over 120 meters of tentacles, armed with millions of tiny stinging capsules, making it highly effective at injecting its venom. The amount delivered depends on how severe the contact with its highly armed tentacles. And it gets worse. The venom it delivers may well be the fastest acting and drop for drop one of the deadliest known against people. In severe cases, death can occur in just two minutes before any chance of medical help. Oh!